There's a misconception against Islam. That Islam promotes violence. That Islam promotes terrorism. This is completely false. Islam promotes education. Look at Quran. Allah said, اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق Look no further than Fazilat al-Nasa Begum Fazilat al-Nasa Begum was the first Bengali Muslim women who won bachelor's degree in mathematics from Bethune College of Kolkata, master's degree in mathematics from Dhaka University, and then she went to London to earn PhD in mathematics in 1928. 1925-1926, when she was attending at Dhaka University, People would be throwing rocks at her using excuse of her not wearing burqas. But she did not give up. She did not give up. She risked her life to create identity for Bengali Muslim women and she did. She was actually trying to create a unique identity for a Bengali Muslim women. And that is that identity rooted to education because Islam promotes education. So when uh, people at that time, 1925-1926, saw her attending Dhaka University, they would be outraged. They would be throwing rocks at her. The first Bengali Muslim women mathematician, Fazila Tunesa Begum, was actually born in 1899 in British India, Tangail, Bangladesh now. Her father's name was Wazid. He was a school teacher. And her mother's name was Halima Katun. And she was a homemaker. She received lots of support from her family in her childhood. Uh, and her family moved to Dhaka for um, for her education. She received her matriculation degree from Eden College in 1921 and 1923 uh, she got uh, she completed 12th grade. She moved to Kolkata uh, for her bachelor degree in mathematics and she received her bachelor degree in mathematics in 1925. 1928 she received a uh, master's degree uh, MSc in mathematics from Dhaka University. After earning her master's in mathematics from Dhaka University, she wanted to continue her education. Uh, she wanted to earn a postgraduate degree. In fact, she badly wanted to earn PhD in math. But Dhaka University at that time did not offer PhD in mathematics. Uh, so she wanted to continue her education. She wanted to on PhD in math. Dhaka University actually established in 1921. So Dhaka University was really a child at that time for higher education. So Dhaka University for that reason did not offer PhD in mathematics. However, Dhaka University uh, reluctant to support her fearing that that will create lots of violence as, uh, as the society was not so much supportive uh, promoting women education, Muslim women education at that time. Her maverick characteristic caught attention of Kazi Nazrul Islam, the most famous Bengali poet at the time, along with Tagore. Nazrul, in fact, gave her a proposal, marriage proposal. However, Fazil Atunesa put the math on top of everything, okay? including uh, this, uh, this, this marriage proposal from the National Poet of Bangladesh. Uh, so she was very desperate, desperate to earn PhD in mathematics. Uh, however, she reached out to almost everybody, uh, including the editor of Shaugat, Muhammad Nasiruddin. 
because Dhaka University failed to support her enthusiasm. Dhaka University failed to support her talent. Dhaka University rejected her request to send her uh, to, uh, to Europe. Shoghat the editor knew that helping Fazilatul Nasser would endanger his life because at that time it was not It was against the social norm helping a Muslim woman sending Europe for education. It was against against the social norm at that time. However, uh, Muhammad Nasiruddin did exactly that. She collected funding and she eventually sent her to England, 1928. Fazila Tunisa earned her postgraduate degree in mathematics, of course, in in England, and then she returned to. She returned to India in 1935. She joined, um, first she, uh, she studied work as a, as, a, as a school inspector and then she joined as a math professor at Bethune College in Kolkata and then she, and, 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 and she became the, the vice principal of the, of the college. In 1947, when the India broke into India and Pakistan, she returned to Bangladesh and joined Eden Moila College, Eden Women College to, to serve as principal. She served as principal until 1957. 1952, the language movement, she actively participated in language movement. She lived long enough to see the independence of Bangladesh from Pakistan in 1971. She died peacefully in 1977.